One of the most popular bodies of water in northern Indiana, southern Michigan, in the early spring is a six span stretch of the St. Joe River. <laughs> The biggest reason is because of the smallmouth bass. It's an interesting fishery here, to say the least, because these smallmouth bass in the late winter and early spring, you will see a, and catch a ton of smallmouth bass. But they don't show up nearly in the same number as they do in the summer months. Yeah! I'm on Facebook, sir. That's what you gonna do. Appreciate you grabbing it, Jeremy. St. Joe River bass. Smallmouth bass in March. Hey, I'll give it out one time. Having a blast with smallmouth bass. Generally speaking, most fish are caught downstream from the six span ramp. And the six span ramp should be explained because it's actually named after the bridge right at the ramp called Six Span. It's on County Road 17. Now, my boat is protected by Mega Work Hill Guard, and this stretch of the river is a prime example why. At the launch site, they, well, you should say they drop the river about anywhere between two and three feet every winter. And that just makes it a little more dangerous. It actually makes it quite dangerous with all the different debris and all the shallow water. So Omega Wear Keel Guard and a Skeg Guard, trust me, have saved me thousands of dollars of damage. For the obvious reason that we are on a river with current, this is the first place in the area, northern Indiana, southern Michigan, to thaw out. So it brings bass anglers here in big numbers. So if you come out to this stretch of river, you are going to have to contend with a whole navy of bass anglers. I would always recommend getting here early, right at sunrise. And you're going to have to deal with the cold temperatures. Jeremy and I got here and it was 21 degrees. But you will be amazed. You'll be amazed at how warm you get when you hook into a smallmouth. Stop this shit, wait, there's something around. Well, oh, you mean for the season? Yeah, oh, like, sorry. Like, I thought you were talking about, you... like, right now. Uh, it's a fish yes. uh, that's, This is a six-man special deal there. That was snagged up, as you saw. I snapped my bait loose, and then boom. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a special here for the St. Joe River. As you saw, I was snagged. My bait was snagged on a piece of wood, and I was trying to pop it loose. As soon as my bait popped loose, this fish was obviously staring at it and just came up and swallowed it. So yes, that's beautiful. The nail's really on it now. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, 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 that's a good one, now. That's a good one. Gosh, oh, no. I didn't have much in the mouth either. It was underneath. No, it wasn't, but that gives you an idea about some of the quality the St. Joe River has. It's a handful of videos in the description below with the links about the fishing here on the Sandra River. We're going to definitely catch some fish in this video as well, smallmouth bass, but you get the real nitty-gritty on how to catch fish on the river in some of those videos below. So I encourage you to check them out, including one video that shows you how to navigate the river. You can see these are fish just swimming out there, some by swimming out in front of the boat so we know we're around them. Yes, the blade bait. That's why people come to the St. Drew River as soon as the ice leaves. Because they're having a blast with them all about bass. What we got here, Banel? Ooh, ooh, you big fish boy. You oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, sir, he bumps. Oh my gosh, Banel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Much better fish than the other. Yeah, well, agreed. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Bam, bam. Ah. See if I can get one in the boat, Benel. All right. Oh. Looks like it's pretty decent, Dang, one, buddy. blade bait. You just never know how well they're hooked. That's a good one, man. That's an over. There's mouth. Don't want to horse them too much. Get that. We so gonna, got one hook on there. We're going to carry fry it still. I don't care what anybody says. We're going to carry fry it. There you go. Ah, uh, yes, nice sir. Nice job. That's how you carry fry it. Traditional river stuff. 
there's a bend in the in the uh, main river channel going right up into the real shallow water and there we've had five bites here in the last 10 minutes all sitting on that bend these fish believe it or not it's winter time early spring fall Oh, we got another, we got another bronze back beauty. Come here, you gold. Having a blast with smallmouth bass. Come here, come here. I wish you could see it. I wish you could see it like me. Yes. There are a lot of other baits out here that'll work. Jerk baits, monkey punches, Ned rigs, jaw breaking by Yoders is a great one. And uh, anyhow, but the blade bait is hard to beat. Lots of other blades that baits that work. Alabama rig would work, does work, jerk baits. But man, when the water is 40 degrees or colder, and today it's 40 degrees, the blade bait is going to be tough to beat. Gosh, he's got good color. He's got some good color. Man, they're fat, man. Look at the bellies. They've all been this way. But Biggest, best free advice I can give you if you come to this stretch of river. Number one, if you don't know it, go slow. Go slow because there are some spots down here that'll take off your lower unit or worse if you're going too fast and come up on a stump there's a lot of stumps out here a lot of logs and a lot of gravel and rock in areas too oh my oh my yeah tug tug that's why we love this mom that's why we love this mom yes yes sir sink your river why we come here? Come to Big Papa. Love it when you call me Big Papa. Oh, he ain't too shabby. We gonna carry fry you. Yes, sir. Yes! That's why I love fishing. And I love smallmouth bass. Having a blast with a small mouth bass. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.